I found the mutilated body Cash was talking about. I'm going to try and establish a cause of death. Blood tests reveal the cause of death was an overdose of painkillers leading to cardiac arrest. Also, the victim's fingerprints have been burned off with acid. A rather unsavory demise. That's not all. It's as though the subject's DNA has been corrupted somehow. There's insufficient information for me to cross-reference the database. I'll have to use the deep tissue scanner to analyze the body for distinguishing features and determine the victim's identity. Right you are, sir. Deformity on the left ear. Looks like a result of minor ear agenesis, a birth defect. A wedding ring in the lower intestine. The inscription reads Ophelia. The victim had a hip replacement. Scar tissue hasn't fully healed, so it must have been recent. Alfred, the victim's name is Anthony Lund. Hospital records show he suffered with alcoholism, most probably brought on by the breakdown of his marriage. The name on the ring, Ophelia, his ex-wife. He was last seen in Albuquerque, New Mexico. What's unusual is that they didn't go missing in Gotham. They were brought here and killed. Why? We need to track down whoever did this. Might I suggest keeping an ear out for any more of that ghastly opera music? It sounds ominously like a calling card. The research will be the endangered species. Alfred, I found another body. The mutilation pattern looks to be identical to the previous murder victim. Then it appears Gotham does indeed have a serial killer in its midst. And here I was, thinking this evening couldn't get any worse. I'm going to scan the body for unique identifiers. Scar tissue on the upper arm. I recognize the pattern. Twenty years ago, this was a badge of honor among inmates at Blackgate Penitentiary. A small group of racketeers known as the Bloodhaven Six. Remnants of a pacemaker fitted through the right ventricle. If I cross-reference the manufacturer with the pacing method, it will help to narrow the search. Clear signs of bone deformation on the victim's knee. Joint line sclerosis points to juvenile arthritis, a rare and debilitating condition. Alfred, I've ID'd the victim as Franklin Ocardo. His records are a litany of drug-related offenses, sir. In and out of prison from an early age. He was serving a 20-year sentence at Blackgate before being released early on grounds of ill health due to a heart condition. He moved to Little Rock, Arkansas, which is where he was reported missing. Another person taken from outside the Gotham area. A significant detail, sir. So are these words written beside the bodies. Try and find a connection between the two victims I've found, Alfred. There has to be something linking them together. I'll try my best, sir. 